Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. My name is Sharnetta. Hope you all are having an enjoyable day or evening so far. So we are here doing the love messages from your person collective read. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. I've been shuffling for like 20 minutes. I don't know why I usually don't shuffle that long, but I feel like uh, a lot of you, your person has something special or important to say. See? I'm not going to put it out, but I'll show you. It kind of flipped out. You are wish come true. So I feel like your person has been doing a lot of contemplation and um, a lot of thinking about the connection at this point. Um, a lot of self-reflection, a lot of self-evaluation and stuff like that. So let's just get straight into it. Um, so yeah, I hope you all are doing well. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just... Sweet mother. Okay. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, first message is, I don't want to be with anybody else but you. So yeah, your person has been like, you've been on their mind like 24-7. Your person has literally come to the conclusion, and I feel like this is not their first time coming to this conclusion, honestly. I'm picking up that your person just has come to the conclusion again for like the 15th time that they don't want anybody else but you. I feel like this is something that they're repeating over and over again in their head. Like, it's almost like they're trying to, I don't wanna say like convince themselves, but there's something about this that's making them nervous. Like deep down, I feel like, on a subconscious level they're scared that maybe you feel differently like you want to see other people or you are tired because of you because you're tired of waiting for them or something about this is just them kind of just I hear them repeating it over and over in their head and it's because they're just not sure if you feel the same way if that makes sense um, this person really needs you ener energetically I'm hearing like so, you know, I feel like uh, this person just ha is like lacking confidence right now to make the first move, honestly. But they know they don't want to be with anybody else, but it's like there's a confidence thing here that's like making them hesitant, making them kind of skittish or making them just... Like I'm, I'm getting like hanged man vibes so they're like waiting for like a sign or like a signal from you or from the universe they're waiting for something or for them to just get more confidence but i think i'm pretty sure they're ready to like you know not ready right now but i'm pretty sure if they were to come forward right now they would have the right words to say but they just don't feel confident like it would be the right words to say if that makes sense we have here I wish I treated you better so this could be what I was picking up why they're like subconsciously kind of hesitating because they still feel a little bit guilty or ashamed for how they treated you they still feel like you may be still holding on to how they treated you in the past and they just are not confident enough to have a confrontation with you because they think by reaching out there's gonna be a confrontation because of what you've done to them in the past and you still holding on to that that grudge or that resentment from them but it's really like they're holding on to this resentment for on themselves because they haven't really fully apologized or fully like took accountability for how they treated you they're trying to but i feel like this person is like kind of pushing that away because they don't want to feel the pain that they've caused you if that makes sense it's like they keep it very surface level in terms of like going back over things that they've done to you that have hurt you because if they go any deeper into it they're gonna feel like worse <laughs> they're gonna feel worse and there's and there's gonna feel like they really really don't have any confidence and like they really can't make a move because it's like this person doesn't know how to it how to apologize they even sometimes i feel not sometimes but i feel like this person like um they feel like sorry is not enough like saying i'm sorry like they need like a like a full-blown like i don't even know like this person just feels like whatever they are coming to you or wanting to offer you it's not enough given the fact of what they've done to you in the past like 
you deserve so much more is what I'm hearing. Um, okay, let's see what else. We have, yeah, when the time is right, we can be together. So they're exactly what I was saying. They're waiting for the right time. They're waiting for the right time for you both to come together finally and like, you know, talk about everything. I feel like there's this like emphasis on everything. This person wants to talk about every single little thing that has been swept under the rug, that has been avoided. Like this person just really wants to talk about everything, but they're so nervous on your reaction and your response and how this conversation is gonna go because they're hoping by the end of the conversation that you will want to be with them just as much as they wanna be with you. But I do feel like they would understand if you didn't, but it would really like break their heart. Yeah, cause we have here, I'm so happy when I'm with you. So this person is just so happy when they're with you. That's why they don't wanna be with anybody else. That's why they can't be with anybody else. I'm also hearing that. I feel like this person may have tried to be with other people in the past and it's gotten them nowhere. It's gotten them exactly where they were prior to this. Like it's it's just, it's been, it was a dud. It's just been like not helpful to them. And they're just like, why did I treat my person like this? Why did I treat them like an option or, you know, string them along? Like, I wish I didn't do that. There's a lot of like wishing and wishing to change past actions but the only way to change past actions is like to change your present actions you can't change the past like so this person really needs to like step up their confidence and like maybe how they're seeing the situation because they can make a difference right now but they're still kind of reflective on the past and what they've done to you this person feels really guilty i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling a very guilty like for something they've done to you in the past and they just are so remorseful about it they also want to talk to you about it but they're afraid that if they bring it up or explain to you why they did what they did in the past like you won't want to be with them so they're waiting for the right time until you can be together i feel like this person would wait like a thousand years to be with you honestly i really need you right now and i don't want to be with anybody else this is like this the second time this yeah i told you this person is serious they don't want to be with anybody else and didn't i say something about them needing you energetically um if not this person needs you energetically like they need your support they need you to let them know that it's okay for them to reach out whether this is just like an energetic telepathic communication like telling your person like hey like you know i forgive you or it's okay like you know i'm past it let's just talk about it like because this person really wants to explain to you and like tell you everything they don't want any more secrets between you both anymore um they also don't want to be apart from you anymore i'm also hearing so i feel like this has been a long separation right now between you both and they're just waiting for the right time to be together they really want to be with you they're so happy when they're with you they also think about all the happy times all the times they were with you where they were like the happiest and i feel like this person tries to hide how happy they are with you at moments at times um but I feel like you can tell, honestly, just by looking in this person's eyes or like they've just, you know, even when this person's in like the most horriblest mood, if you were to visit them or, you know, if they thought about times where you visited them, they just automatically become like really happy. And they're realizing that means a lot. That means something because not a lot of people can do that for them, you know. Okay, right. what else? What else, Spirit? Does their person want to say? It's like they want to say stuff, but they keep like taking it back. Okay, I feel insecure. So, yeah, your person definitely is feeling a lot of insecurities right now. They're not feeling confident in their approach. They're not feeling confident that you will want them back. They're not feeling confident to reach out to you. Like, I don't get the, like, I don't, I feel like this person has dealt with, like, a majority of their insecurities. I want to say, like, 70%, 75% for some of you. So this is, like, this, I feel insecure. There's, like, this one thing that's, like, really keeping them, holding them back. It, it's this, like, guilt from the past they really need to get past that guilt from the past 
for others of you, maybe it's just like this person still is dealing with working on their insecurities. Um, there are many insecurities. But I feel like for most of you, this is like one insecurity that is like the main culprit of why this person has not reached out to you. Um, so we'll look deeper into that after I'm done here. But I'm, I'm, I feel like they could get past it if they like heard from you some way, somehow, like telepathically, of course, always use your intuition and like your own discernment on reaching out to your person. But I feel like this person would want a sign or either a sign from you, like I said, or a sign from the universe that it's okay for them to reach out to you. Ooh. We have here, okay, I want to have babies with you and I want something more with you. See? Yeah. This person definitely wants to be like fully committed to you. They want it all with you. And I was told to look at the bottom of the deck and we have, I'm scared you don't love me the same way. This is like the main energy I feel like. This person is just really scared and that's their one insecurity is that you don't or won't love them the same way that they do because this person really has a lot of love for you i love how we have like yellow blue like the yellow and blue thing going on here and then the red on the side um so yeah your person is really working on their confidence their communication trying to ground themselves they want to have babies with you whether this is like actual babies, animal babies, plant babies, whatever. They just want to be committed to you and connected to you in a way that's kind of like forever sealed. I'm getting this like forever thing. This person sees you as their forever. Like they want to be together forever with you this lifetime and many other lifetimes to come. Okay, let's see what else. Yeah, I want this to work. This is crazy how this is like coming out like this. I feel like this is like alignment in its best moment. Like, oh, I don't know why. I just, I really feel like this is like divinely like guided and divinely timed. Like there's like a really big message here. So I feel like your person is really trying to ground themselves. They want to be confident. They want this to work out. They don't want to be with anybody else but you. They want something more with you. And the something more is something more serious, more committed, more consistent, more congruent, just more like more time together, more conversations together. Whatever it is, this person just wants more with you. More than what you have right now. And they want this to work between you both, you know? They wanna figure things out. I'm hearing like they wanna make the effort, but they just feel so insecure that like, you know, you don't feel happy with them or you don't wanna have babies with them or you wanna be with other people or something like that. And I feel like, like I said, most of you, I don't think that's true. I think it's just their own guilt of how they treated you in the past. Like they're thinking like why would this person want to be with me when I treated them like an option or you know strung them along or you know acted out of ego and fear for like the majority of our relationship so they're like beating themselves up a little bit Ugh, this person needs to like get out of their head a little I'm hearing like exercise to like blow off steam and like kind of regain energy so this person could be exercising a lot trying to do that or like just thinking of ways how they can like claim reclaim their power and regain their strength mentally spiritually emotionally okay let's get three more and then we'll start like clarifying some stuff here what else does your person want to say some green we can make each other beyond happy and become successful beyond our wildest dreams i'm getting power couple vibes from that and i'm healing inner childhood wounds absolutely so for some of you this is their insecurities just stem from their childhood um about them being rejected or abandoned by like a caregiver or just them like you know I'm hearing for some of them, it's like they weren't allowed to be happy because they weren't allowed to be themselves. 
that's way too many but we will take the one that flipped out um we have here i'm not ready for a commitment i feel like this is coming from a place of fear honestly um because it's like right under the red i just feel like this is like there's this like fear thing and it's like it co it came right after the childhood wounds so i'm feeling like your person like has a maybe like a more some more childhood wound healing to do before they come forward because they feel like if they don't get this down path then they won't be ready for commitment and then at the bottom we have i miss you so this person really does miss you they really do care about you they just they want to get themselves together i'm hearing they want to like make sure that they are happy with themselves that they're happy to be who they want to be i feel like honestly this person's childhood they were not allowed to be who they wanted to be they were very insecure as a child like their par their caregivers or their parents were not very supportive to who this person was on a spiritual level i feel like this person was forced to maybe be something or act in certain ways that went against their true nature and it really like I'm hearing like traumatize them or really affected them and who they are today and this person is trying to unlearn all of that garbage that was taught to them by their caregivers and their parents you know and trying to really nurture their inner child and like spend more time with their inner child um before they have babies with you and they they don't want to repeat the same things that have been placed on them if that makes sense because this person believes that you both could make each other really happy and be really successful, like power couple and like live out your dreams together. So definitely I'm going to pull for this. I'm not ready for a commitment. So let's see what that's about. We have the judgment. Okay, that's a good sign. And then the king of swords and then the four of wands okay so yeah i told you this was like a fear the judgment the king of swords and the four of wands is like this person finally coming to this decision or conclusion that they want to have a commitment with you this is the commitment card the four of wands like and the judgment is like a reconciliation a re rebirth a kind of a coming back together as you can see here with the child this person thinks about having kids with you a lot like a lot a lot there actually might be like a spirit baby that's like helping you both out and there's also this is also set up by the divine with the angel at the top like this is spiritually guided this connection is is meant to be it was meant to be before you even both came down here on this earth but they have been distracted with this king of swords this is like my least favorite card because i never really understand it and i just don't like the way like he looks or that woman in the background i just don't understand it but I'm picking up from this since it's in between the judgment and the four of wands that they have to make this decision. They have to reach out to you, even if it's in like a nonchalant type of way. They have to make that first move. They have to make that first step. But they still have like some type of influence in the back of their head or the back of their mind or maybe in the shadow, like, you know, their shadow self or something like that. They still have these fears. And this could be like a mother or a caregiver. This could just be their own like sabotaging thoughts. Honestly, it doesn't have to be a, a real person. But they they know that they know how strong this relationship is. They know how strong you both are. They know how this is true love. They this is also a card that speaks about true love in the like in the book, in the booklet that came with this. So this person knows like, you know, we're meant to be, but we have to get past these fears. And then the four of wands, which is like union, bliss, happiness. I'm so happy when I'm with you. So this person, yeah, they may not be ready for a commitment right now but they're starting to embrace it fully and it's not because they don't want to be with you it's because they're starting to embrace their insecurities they're starting to heal with the judgment they're starting to have that wake-up call being like look you both are meant to be together you both have the red strings of fate you both will always come back to each other past lives this life future lifetime so you have to figure it out like today <laughs> you have to figure it out you have to come to this conclusion you have to start somewhere you know and just trust your guidance trust your intuition trust that this person feels the same way trust that they also want a happy blissful union with you for some of you this person like you know with this with the babies and stuff like that they want to like move in together they want this to be like a union like a family they want to have a family with you obviously but they're still hesitant they're still kind of like and it's because of this like influence here um okay let's see what else do i want to clarify 
let's do let's do i feel insecure so i'm going to tell you to do that and then we'll pull some guidance and then we will take it over to the extended so i feel insecure i just saw the death card so your person's going through like a major transformation right now we have the seven of wands, the nine of pentacles, ooh, and the seven of swords. Okay, and then at the bottom we have the eight of wands. So this person wants to speak. This is what's hidden. This is what, like, deep down how they feel. They want to communicate. They want to speak to you. They want to share all this passion with you. But in terms of, like, them feeling insecure, yeah, we have two sevens, seven of wands, seven of swords. There's this disconnect, and it's because this person keeps hiding their feelings. This card speaks about... The Nine of Pentacles speaks about reserve, um, kind of like being discreet, but also being like obsessed in the best way about your love, about your lover, about your person. Like this wild, powerful love like drives them to do things that are very, I feel like this person watches you. I feel like this person like keeps an eye on your social media. They want to bring you this clarity about why they maybe hide their feelings, why they do what they do and, and how they really feel. But I feel like it's so deep and it's so passionate why this person feels this way. They feel like you would maybe turn their turn your back on them or they feel like you wouldn't understand. There's like, there's a thing here about you maybe not understanding or you being, are you not caring that they feel this way? anymore um but i don't think that's the case i think you're just waiting for them to open up to you you're waiting for them to trust you to with their feelings or you're waiting for them to just you know admit their own feelings take responsibility for their own feelings and take accountability for their own actions you're just waiting for them and they feel like you're just you're not waiting for them you're just kind of like moving on but i also feel like you're more empowered right now like you're in this place where you're just kind of independent calm cool collected just doing your thing like you don't hate this person you're open to this person you're open to hearing this person like hear them out or whatever the case may be but they just feel so differently because i think this is a new energy that they're um dealing with when it comes to you they're used to you chasing them or like you know reaching out to them or always kind of like being making yourself available to them and since you're not they don't know what to do so this is new energy new territory that they're trying to figure out i'm very much getting here and they're just a little bit scared a little bit nervous about it because like i said this is new to them so before we take it over to the extended let me get some advice here and in the extended we'll look deeper into this person's insecurities and fears their energy um, we'll look, get some more messages from my other message deck. We will look into the energy of your connection at this time, all that fun stuff. So let's get some advice, but I do feel like your person is, is very much in contemplation mode, but they're just kind of contemplating or focusing too much on the wrong thing. But again, I feel like that will bring up a lot of their fears, a lot of their, like that, that true insecurity. Cause for some reason I feel like this person is kind of unaware of what the root of their insecurity is. They know it stems from childhood. They know it stems from maybe like an outside influence, but they don't know like how deep it is or the extent of it. I don't know. I'm just getting like this person is like kind of blind to an important piece of the puzzle, I guess you should say. So let's get some angel numbers here for you. Advice. Twenty-one. I am inspiring. So it says you are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. So maybe you're really feeling inspired. And I also feel like this person is feeling inspired by you because they're watching you. You're really like out here doing your thing, minding your business, being creative, you, you know, succeeding. Ooh. Um talking to people networking doing new things Ooh, we have three that came out so we have two i am diplomatic we have 14 i am practical and we have 999 i am unique so spirit is really asking you to really be balanced in your approach when it comes to this person when they are ready to come forward this I am diplomatic says you have a great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. We have here 
14, I am practical. So it says you are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. So I feel like you're going to be very balanced when this person comes around. I feel like um, you're just going to deal with this person in a very diplomatic way. In a very unique way, we have I am unique 999. Thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. Like, you're not going to let this person get to you or kind of knock you off course anymore like maybe they've done in the past. You're going to approach this in a very different way than you have approached this person before. And they just don't know that. So I feel like they just don't know. They don't know how to, they don't know how, how you're going to respond to them. But I feel like you're going to do it in a very diplomatic, practical, unique way. You're going to leave the past behind. You're going to like comfort this person and tell this person, it's okay. We can get through this. We can work this out. I want to work on this as well. So that is what I see for you guys. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for like watching and taking your time out to, to watch these videos. I truly appreciate every single one of you. If you um, want a personal reading from me, that information will be down below in the description box where you can get that. Otherwise, we're going to leave it here and I'm going to take this over to the extended. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys so much and I will see you at the extended. Take care.